The Scottish Highlands, the place of the gales. Wet, eerie, mystical, absolutely beautiful. The sun-tamed landscape is home to the highest mountains in the UK, locks that stretch as far as the eye can see, delectable whiskey distilleries, and famous Hollywood movie filming locations. And let's not forget the Loch Ness Monster, AKA Lil Nessie. The Loch Ness Monster. The Nessie. And the Jacobite Steam Train, AKA the Hogwarts Express. So you know, when Guardian Levio saw. Stop, stop. It's you that has to go on, I know it. This land is the thing of fairy tales. And in many ways it can be a challenge to get to, with some parts only having one to two roads in and one to two roads out. Coming from Edinburgh, we knew a trip to Scotland wouldn't be complete without a trip to the Highlands. But given our limited time and the car rental prices this time of year, we decided to take a gamble on what we hoped would be a more chill option. Okay, so we booked a bus for today and tomorrow. Oh my goodness, it is such a mess out here. Usually we wouldn't really book a super touristy thing like this but just didn't work out that way. So we went the bus route and not really so sure how I feel about the bus route so yeah, far. When we first got here, they're like, so you have 30 minutes. There's like nine other tour buses here with probably like over 200 people. Coming up on the coos, dude, the hairy coos. And all I do out here is just eat grass. Just <laughs> say hi to the tourists who just feed me just fresh veggies all day long, bro. The line for the women's bathroom was super long. I went in to try and grab coffee and uh, the line's crazy long, so I don't think it's gonna happen. Did you get it? Yeah, because he's out there. We're nah, we're, we're good, we're good. Okay. He told me 45, we'll get there at 45. <laughs> There's a lot, there, everyone's gonna be making their way in the bus. We'll yeah, 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 yeah. Well, everyone's mean, on the bus. Really? Yeah. Oh. <laughs> so yeah, we learned pretty quickly, we're gonna be on a tight schedule the next two days, making a handful of stops at some of the most famous places in the Highlands, all while being very committed to the bus clock. But we're determined to make the best out of it. We're making our first photo stop. Wow, it's so beautiful. The lighting is amazing. Perfect. Perfect. But I guess we only have 10 minutes. I did take some anti-nausea medicine this morning because they did say that the bus can be a little bit windy on these roads. Right and dirty. As you can imagine. Like a typical pension um, yes. if you wanted to leave an exciting life story. 1691. Don't do that, right there will be serious consequences. Beautiful. This drive is stunning, and we're learning a hell of a lot more from this tour guide than had we driven on our own. Like right now, we're driving right next to James Bond's Skyfall. Wow, look at that. Skyfall and the crumble. Where you grew up. So now we're going to play you two Gaelic songs as we are traveling along the Glen Dockert. Dockert. So we found out that our tour guide is actually Polish, but he's been living in Scotland for 20 years, and that's why he has such an early Scottish accent. But I swear to God, it's gotten thicker and thicker as the hours go on. Your boat sail away at three o'clock, yeah? So you're coming back off the boat around four. Once you come off the boat, make your way back to the bus. Oh my God, we found some hairy coo dogs. Your dogs are so cute. I had to come over. Their haircuts are awesome. You're the hairy coo version of dogs. Because tonight will be the night that I will fall for you. They are. Have a good one. <laughs> that was so cute. Made our lunch stop here now at Fort Augustus. Super charming and cute little spot. Got like an hour and 20 minutes before we get on our boat to do what, Nathan? Something that's been on your bucket list. The Loch Ness cruise. <laughs> <laughs> It is so freaking beautiful out here. My God, there's like this church or really tall building in front of us. There's so much greenery. The water, 
truly is super murky. It's looking like either sewage or Coca-Cola. Coca-Cola. Okay, Coca-Cola. It's this like yellow dark color. And what did we learn? Because it's super peaty. The soil all around it is very peaty. It gives it that really dark, almost like an ale kind of color. Yeah, an ale. Yeah, but it's 800 feet deep. This is the largest body of water by volume in all of Great Britain. I can see how they could come up with this like story, this folklore of this animal for sure. Because is it folklore though? Nathan. Is Nessie real? The most popular image looks like a dinosaur. Could a dinosaur really exist? So, we're back at it. One more 13-hour day exploring the majestic Scottish Highlands. The only bus here. This is much better than yesterday, huh? This tour is already off to a much better start. We left 30 minutes earlier than the other buses, so there's much less people at each stop. Our tour guide is super cool and super Scottish. So that castle there is not the original. The original castle was actually more of a fortification made out of wood. Now the McDonald clan, they hummed and had, they weren't sure if they were going to swear their allegiance or not. Didn't think it was going to make any difference. What the hell did he just say? We got to step inside the Turf House, a replica of one of the homes of the McDonald's of Glencoe, which was really cool. <laughs> Dude, it, it smells like, like peated whiskey. They actually burn peat in there once a week. And, and this was what they used to do back in the days. They would burn peat to stay warm. It smelled great. It smelled amazing. And I was yeah. like, this is like literally when you put your nose in a whiskey glass, that's what it smells <laughs> like, a smoky whiskey. And now, what we've all been waiting for. Hogwarts Express. <laughs> also known as the Jacobite train. Jacobite? It's gonna pass through here in the next hour. So you can ride this train and book tickets through the West Coast Railway's website, starting at 57 pounds a ticket. But you have to book months in advance as it sells out quickly. Or you can book a tour that includes a ticket, but you'll pay much more. We didn't book in time. I'm running right now, trying to find the best spot so we can take a freaking 360 video of this train. Nathan's in one spot. And I'm trying to get the other. <laughs> Ooh, I think I hear it. I hear it. There it is. The anticipation. Well, here it comes. <laughs> there it is. The Hogwarts Express. <laughs> wow. It is packed on there. We've made it to, I'm gonna butcher this so bad, Pilak, Pilak, I don't know. It's a very cute town and they have this whiskey ice cream here. It's not whiskey flavored, it's actual whiskey. It's made from a local distillery here and then put in the ice cream. And so we only have 30 minutes. There's a long ass line. Hopefully we can get some. Oh my God, insane. Can you taste the whiskey in it? How's the texture? It's amazing. Oh I mean, it's like a regular ice cream, but you can actually taste Dude, the we're gonna miss our bus. That is that our bus? No, 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 that's not about it. So, was 13 hours on a tour bus to the Scottish Highlands worth it? If you're limited on time and have, say, three to four days in Edinburgh, I do think it's worth taking this tour bus to the Highlands. Yes, you're gonna play tourist, the days are gonna be super long, spent mostly sitting, but you really do get to see a lot for about 70 bucks. We preferred the second company, Timberbush, over Harry Koo, because we got off to an earlier start, which meant we avoided running into a lot of the other companies, and Harry Koo didn't let us eat our whiskey ice cream on board and made us throw it away, which was a major buzzkill. But hey, if you do have more time, definitely rent a car to properly explore this place. We saw just a few highlights, but we'd love to come back to see the Isle of Skye and even do the North Coast 500. Mm -hmm.